Hi, I'm Debbie. Welcome to Honey What's for Dinner. Today I'm going to share with you a slow cooker recipe, beef short rib ragu over pappardelle. Pappardelle is a wide pasta noodle that's a little thicker than fettuccine. Come join me in my kitchen and let's start cooking. We're going to take a couple of tablespoons of just regular canola oil, put it in our pan to heat up. I've got our short ribs dredging in some flour. I do it in a bag, nice easy cleanup. Take them out. Shake off the excess, and that's what you want to hear and see. A little sizzle going on. And cut. You want three to four pounds of short ribs. You need to do them in batches so you don't crowd the pan. When you crowd the pan, you steam everything instead of get the nice caramelization that we're looking for here for this dish. Careful. Okay. Now you see we've got one side nicely caramelized. We'll get the other side caramelized and then I'm going to transfer it to a plate and then I'm going to do the other batch. I'll see you in a few minutes. Red wine. We're going to let that reduce a little bit, bring it down to a simmer. Make sure you get all the nice brown bits off the bottom. Now that our short ribs have browned, I'm going to place them in our slow cooker. I use these great Reynolds slow cooker bags. You just line your slow cooker with them. You put everything in it. Clean up's a breeze. Once you're done, you let everything cool off, throw it away. Just give your pan a quick rinse and you're good to go. So now that we're getting it, get our short ribs in there. To those, I am going to add eight ounces of tomato sauce. The red wine sauce we deglazed our pan with. a 28 ounce can of whole tomatoes. Just want to pour those in and break them apart a little bit. Just mush them up a little bit. I'm going to use the tongs for that, which is why I kept them out. Cause Next, I'm going to add two tablespoons of tomato paste. I'm going to add a little red pepper flake. Depending on how you, spicy you like it, you add what you'd like. A little minced onion, dehydrated onion. You don't need to use a real onion. This is a slow cooker. It's all going to meld together. That was some garlic some Italian seasoning. And the one thing about cooking that I've discovered over the years is it's really important to use good quality spices. And I tend to buy the best that I can afford for my budget. Some of the dollar store products are awesome and then some you need to zhuzh up a little bit. Now you just wanna mix those in a little bit Clean off your little spatula. Stick this in the slow cooker. Let's 
stick this all in the slow cooker. I'm making this for Sunday supper, so I want it to sit all day. I want it to be a very lazy Sunday. I love lazy Sundays. Ask my husband. It's coffee, news programs all morning, and more coffee. Set your slow cooker to eight hours. And enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in a few hours. We cooked our parpadel according to package directions. Our short ribs are done and nice and tender. Pour your sauce over the top. And the great thing about the Reynolds slow cooker bag is you pull it up. Pour in the rest of your sauce. Grate a little Parmesan cheese over the top of that. perfect Sunday dinner. Thank you for joining me. If you try this recipe, I'd love to know. If there's something you'd like help making, let me know in the comments below. We post new content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday with some bonus stuff thrown in here and there. So please like, sub, and don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss any of the surprises. Don't forget to follow me on social media. And honey, this is what's for dinner. P.S. I'm sorry about the delay in today's video. Amazon was a little late in delivering my new microphone, which was part of the delay I was talking about and technical difficulties in the previous video. We were waiting for a new microphone. So again, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you Tuesday when we'll have chicken cordon bleu casserole. Thank you.